These low glycemic index plantain chips are perfect, especially if you find it hard to give up on potato chips. Hello my friend and thank you so much for joining me. I'm hearing a lot of people asking about snacks. It is true that it is a difficult topic uh, with diabetes, but I have already made two recipes for snacks. I will post them over here. And today I am going to show you how to make plantain uh, chips. Uh, plantain is like a banana, it's like a green banana. The glycemic index is low and uh, maybe you can make them in an air fryer. I do not have one so I'm using my oven. It is extremely easy to do and um, but you still have to calculate the carb content. I'm going to show you how I do it and then hopefully you will like it. You can add a lot of spices to it if you want to. I'm doing mine with olive oil and, um, and salt. But you could add paprika, you could add chilies, you could add anything you want to make it a little bit more um, tasty. But it's quite close to potato chips. Okay, I'll show you now. To start with, you want to get rid of the top and bottom of the plantain chips. And then you have to lacerate the uh, banana on each side, you have to make sort of two lacerations um, vertically so that it's easier to cut because the skin is really hard. Then at the end, if there are little bits that are still missing, you can get rid of them just like this. So it's very important that you weigh the plantain before cooking it and write it down so that uh, you will have it all for later on. I'm slicing them here with a mandoline. Put them aside and add uh, salt. I am using here uh, three pinches of salt. Then mix it well. The salt is absorbed by the plantain chips. Now you want to put it on a tray like this to go right into the oven. Make sure that everything has been flattened out. Then before I put it in the oven, I am putting some olive oil on top of it. Unfortunately, I couldn't uh, record the sound, but they are really crispy and they actually are very nice. They're very similar to potato chips. Now, I don't know what you think, but I think it looks quite sweet. I'm quite happy with myself. <laughs> and um, you can have this if you are with some friends, you know, one evening and you want to have an aperitif with them so that you know how much carbs there is in this. Or if you fancy like a snack uh, in the middle of the day and you can have these as well. So I think all in all, it's a good, um, a good snack idea as well. Okay, thank you so much for having watched my video. Thank you so much for being with me again. And I will see you soon in my next recipe. Bye-bye, my friend.